Green Vulture for Life here, bringing you guys a brand new video this time around. It is another YGO Pro, Dev Pro, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to keep calling it Dev Pro Tool Compilations because why not? Add or, I don't know, it's probably going to be called YGO Pro. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, I, I really want to get back into the groove of doing these. I know I kind of stopped for a while and then I did the Odd Eyes one recently and you guys really liked it again. I, I don't know why I ever stopped, but oh well, I'm going to really try and get back into the groove of doing these. So... And I've got a crap ton of these. So this time around, we are playing Galaxy Photons. I do have a few that are of an older build, but I still want to show it off because I absolutely love this deck. And I recently re it up, and I forgot just how fun this deck can be playing. Uh, sometimes, though, it can be a bit obnoxious with the bricky hands, but I didn't. I, I still love this deck a lot. So this is one of my favorite matchups, just simply because it's hilarious right here. And oh god, what just happened there? Um, <laughs> I forgot how quick this duel was. So one of my favorite matchups with Galaxy Eyes is the Blue Eyes versus Galaxy Eyes mirror match because there's uh, actually kind of a debate between like old school Yu-Gi-Oh fans and newer school Yu-Gi-Oh fans about who is better, Blue Eyes or Galaxy Eyes. Personally, up until Shiv, I would say Galaxy Eyes, and now I'm not too sure. <laughs> But yeah, you guys just saw what happened. Uh, that is the power of Tachyon Dragon. When people don't bother reading the card, <laughs> the guy would have actually survived. Uh, I don't think he would have been able to make a comeback though looking at his hand. So yeah, that was a pretty crappy uh, opening for him. So we're going to move on. And yay for burn! <laughs> Everybody loves getting burned, don't they? No? Uh, yeah, I don't like it either. So, <laughs> oh god, and you know, seeing Card of Demise reminds me, uh, didn't the Millennium Pack just come out recently? I forgot all about that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just doing my stuff, and he's like, no more summoning for you. So, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I, I don't know why I didn't search, but, oh yeah, that's right, I wanted to get Titanic Galaxy out ASAP to try and prevent some of the burn that he's gonna do to me. So... Yeah, I just did that, and he was just going to reject you, I feel. Uh, that, that was obnoxious, but I didn't want him drawing three cards. He would have got another card of Demise and two Super Barrels. That would not have been nice. So I go ahead and do the Photon Thrasher plus Crusher and new Starly Sword Galaxion play, and he wobbles me again. I still love this trap card, even though I don't play it very much, like, if ever now. It's still one of my favorite trap cards. Uh... So, yeah, he's he's living by an edge here. He's really, really trying to go for that uh, final push for damage. I go ahead and just say, screw you. <laughs> this is, let's see here, that's six, th this is perfect game right here. That's 8,000 total. <laughs> I love this deck so much. And Titanic Galaxy, he's technically part of the Galaxy archetype. I don't know if Kite played him in the manga, though. That is very interesting. And I cannot wait for these guys just to get new support because, uh, the newest episode just came out, and uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I know that it's a kite versus, like, everybody duel, and I want to see it so bad, so I'm probably going to end up watching this while this uploads. <laughs> oh my god, and Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon looks amazing. Uh, I just hope that uh, Kite actually has the original Galaxy Eyes full-time dragon, because that'd be cool. So, anyway, so this is DDDs. Uh, I'm fighting them. I, I really can't wait till we get more DDD stuff over here in TCG. It's a lot of, it's one of my favorite decks out there. So, I, I started playing Reasoning in a, in a deck, and I really like it because people don't know what to call. <laughs> people don't know what to call when they are when they know that you're playing uh, freaking uh, Galaxy Photons. Because you got fours, you got threes, you got ones, you got twos. Hey, Galaxy Photons have levels everywhere. Granted, you don't play them all. By the way, can I just say that it's really stupid that, Gal that Titanic Galaxy keeps that attack permanently? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so people don't know what to call a reasoning. Most people will call eight, so you don't get your galaxy eyes or your uh, galaxy knight if you do reveal it. But then, oh, hey, that's when you end up uh, uh, milling or whatever it's called now, I forgot, uh, excavating uh, a uh, galaxy soldier or something fun. <laughs> it it, it kind of sucks with Flasher, though, but oh well. So now, and this is one of the older uh, builds of the deck. Uh, this guy, okay, so I ended up beating him in the first round, and then he was, he was so salty, he went to the rematch. Um, I think it's going to crash on me. Okay, we cannot do that one. Never mind. Let's see if we can do round two at least. 
Okay, cool. We can do round two, but for some reason round one was not wanting to work. So anyways, yeah, this guy, he was not too happy with me beating him. <laughs> so he wanted a rematch. Uh, he opens pretty good here. Uh, he's going straight into seven sins, and I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> so yeah, he, he's being mean, so... Yeah, but I'm going to be meaner. <laughs> I, I love this deck so much. Just like, yeah, I'm just like, screw all your stuff. <laughs> I can mix so much here. It's not even funny. <laughs> I got someone bigger. It, it, it's just, oh my god. I Yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> your, your giant spider just got crushed by my giant dragon. So, yeah, that was a thing. Um, actually, wait, was it the same guy? Yeah, that was the same guy. Uh, let's see if we can get round one to work. Hey, there we go. It's working now. I don't know why it wasn't working earlier. So, anyways, yeah, he he, he, he did not open well. <laughs> he did get rid of my attack on Transmigration, which kind of hurt me, but oh well. Yeah, actually, sometimes if I, I'm really for sure that my opponent will have something, I just, like, normal swing galaxy, I just go out dragon <laughs> with Tachyon back there, because, uh, Galaxy S Cloud Dragon is a galaxy, so I can do stuff. And I, I, I drop honest. <laughs> My little Cloud Dragon's just doing stuff. Let's put it in work. <laughs> uh, this is so sad. <laughs> He's not getting better draws. My Galaxy S Cloud Dragon is putting in so much work here. Oh, uh, sorry, I am laughing way too much. And then, yeah, he's going to grow up into Galaxy S Photon Dragon. And, yeah, he, he's putting even more work down to his an adult instead of a little baby. Um, so, yeah, he's, he, he doesn't have anything for Dreary at all. This is why he wanted a rematch, because he was so angry about my Cloud Dragon just screwing him over. Sorry, I can't help but laugh. Okay, so I, I don't know why I didn't just use Giant Grinder's effect. See, this is why you read cards, everybody, okay? If he had just gone into... If he had just used Giant Grinder's effect, he probably would have won. Because, yeah, my hand was crap and he had a 4K. Well, I actually know he would not be able to go into uh, 7 cents. But he, he would still have a lot better board than I was going to have. But nothing with... Yeah, pretty bad draws from the next few turns, but no, he went straight into the Seven Sins and didn't bother reading Photon Dragon. And guys, that is that is why you read cards that your opponent has. That is why, okay? <laughs> uh, okay. Next up, Hack. Yeah, people are still trying to make this deck work again, and I don't like it. <laughs> uh, not like uh, not because people are trying to do it, but because I hate hat so much. I hate this deck so much. It's just not fun to duel against. It just is not, and I, I don't know why people want to play it so badly. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting a board going, trying to make sure he can't really do much. He draws Brilliant Fusion, which is just wonderful. Makes that focus Focusaurus, pops my poor Photon Dragon. <laughs> I'm just going to bring him back with Galaxy Zero, and he's, this is what's so annoying, he just keeps bringing out the scythe, uh, which, uh, is like getting annoying so much. So, yeah, I'm not even sure, 100% sure what I'm going to. So, he summons up Ice Hand, he Kamikaze's into that, pops my zero, it doesn't matter. Uh, he try. He, he goes ahead and, I don't know why he didn't... Uh, destroyed Photon Dragon. Again, this is why you read cards. I, and I don't know why he attacked into it with Scythe. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I make Titanic Galaxy because I, I just did not want him just like rejecting my field or anything. And he had Soul Charge, which I am happy <laughs> with the Titanic Galaxy. And he uh, quit after that. Um, he had he had a pretty good board going, but yeah, I don't know if he would have been able to make it back. Yeah, he was going to draw Regeki, which would do nothing. <laughs> that stuff is Cosmo. The Cosmo matchup for Galaxy Eyes Photon is actually a bit annoying, mostly because the big strips can't be targeted, and Galaxy Eyes targets with his effect, which is very, very obnoxious. Uh, it's actually something I didn't notice until I dueled against a guy, uh, against a Cosmo guy. And <laughs> I love this. Okay, so for those who don't really know how that worked, okay, so he dropped Honest, which boosted up him by 3,000, and then that triggered 
Tachyon Dragon's effect, boosting him by another thousand. So since Odyssey had already resolved, he only gained at three thousand initially, and as it will punch over by five hundred, which is really awesome. Yeah, at this point, it's pretty much game. <laughs> uh, the easiest ways to win against Cosmos with this deck is just simply to make Tachyon and just keep attacking. Um, the other easiest way is to make this dude, because he can't be destroyed. Well, he can, your opponent can try and destroy him, but he won't be able to be. Um, so, yeah, your opponent has a really hard time dealing with Tachyon Dragon and dealing with Seven Sins whenever it comes to the Cosmo Mirror Match. Uh, sorry, not Mirror Match. Whenever it comes to the Cosmo Matchup. And that's what you mainly got to go for in Galaxy Photons. Whenever you're going against Cosmo, which is a bit obnoxious since you can't go into the more fun stuff. <laughs> like a Prime Photon Dragon or anything. So, this is a weird deck, and I wish this guy... Why, I don't know if he opened bad or if he just did not play right, but he basically took every meta relevant deck from the past year or so and put them all in one deck. Uh, I don't know what he was trying to do with this. Uh, so, yeah, he, 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 he just never made any like progress. Oh, that's what he was trying to do. He was trying to. Dude, why didn't you just make friggin' Zephra? You would have been able to do that a lot faster and a lot e easier. <laughs> Um, so I see what he was trying to do. He was trying to make use of Sacred Serpent's Wake, which is a really, really good card, and god dang, I love that artwork. Look at that. I uh, guess you Amelia, Advance, uh, forgot who these two are, and then you got just Still Storm Roads being awesome over here. <laughs> this card is awesome, but it, it's really hard to trigger. So, sorry, I'm not really paying much attention to the duel, because it's honestly not that great of a duel. This guy, I, the only reason why I honestly saved his replays because it seemed like a really interesting deck and I honestly wanted to take a look at his deck. Um, but it's still a very interesting concept as to what he was trying to do. But honestly, if you're going to try to make use of Sacred Serpent, Serpent's Wake, you're better off just playing Zephyra, which is a lot more consistent, a lot more easier to use, and a, a lot more just better than just mashing all the meta relevant decks from the past year or so uh, together. And then finally for the last one we have Ada, uh, sorry, Ada, it's Galaxy Eyes and well Photons versus Raid Raptors. Uh, two of my favorite decks going at it. And this is a fun duel, if I remember it correctly. Um is this after the doing this? So he should have two or I don't know, maybe he's not playing two or so anyways he's just going off, making that four strips. He he forgot to search off a four strips, so it's made me laugh. Um Sadly. <laughs> and he freaking saw him by freaking... I don't know why this is, is still a three, by the way. Like, seriously. Um, so, yeah, he did that to my poor... Axion. But anyways, again, I don't know why he didn't search off of four strikes. I guess he just forgot about it. Okay, yeah, now I remember this duel is honestly not a great <laughs> transmigration to OP. Oh my god, this card really is way too OP. If this deck ever becomes meta relevant, this card is a card that might actually be hit. <laughs> For those who don't know what Tachyon Transmigration is, it basically says if you control a Galaxy Eyes monster, negate the activation of your opponent's spell chart cards. Trap cards and monster cards, uh, monster effects that are in the same chain as this card. And if you do, shuffle all those negated cards on the field into the deck. And if you control a Galaxy as Tachyon Dragon Monster, you can activate this card from your hand. So if you have C107 or just 107 out, you can activate this card from your hand. And if they ever make any more Tachyon Dragons, which would be really interesting, you can still do it from your hand. I don't know if they would, because if they make too many, then this card could become too powerful. And honestly, some would even argue that it is, because you can negate multiple things in a chain, which is really stupid. And then they don't get destroyed, they get shuffled back to the deck, so they don't trigger things like Dante's effect or anything. So that is really, really good. So guys, that is the YGO Pro Deck Pro Dual Compilation. I am planning on recording the deck profile tomorrow. I have no idea, nor can I guarantee when the actual deck profile will go up, or if I will actually even get around to recording it tomorrow, but that's my plan. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, tell me, actually, I don't know what I was going to say. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, I hope you uh, can't wait to see the deck profile of it. And now I'm just kind of babbling. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great day. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and see you guys later. Peace out.